Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a split image in the Cricut Design Space. So I am going to go into my Upload button and I'm going to click on my baseball over here and select Insert Image. And I have a video on how to insert images from online and I can link that down below if you want to see how I uploaded this image. But I am going to resize this how I want it for now. And then I am going to turn this red. It doesn't really matter what color you have it um, on, but to me it just helps to have it on the color that I would be printing it off on. So if I was printing this on vinyl or cardstock, it's just kind of nice to see the color. It helps me visualize how it's going to look. So I have my red baseball here. And then I am going to select a square and then I'm going to hit the unlock button so I can resize this however I want to and I'm going to put this over the image okay so I like that and then I am going to highlight both of these here so that they are both selected you can see in, over in the layer section that they are both highlighted and then this will let me hit slice and then I can take these apart here and then I'm going to delete these okay so then the next thing I'm going to do is go to my shapes again and I'm going to select another square I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make this really thin and long and I'm going to put it up against the baseball Okay, so I'm going to put it right up against there. And then I'm going to select it and hit duplicate. And then I'll put another one down here. And then I'm going to change these red as well. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is make sure everything is aligned. So I'm going to highlight and select everything and then I'm gonna go up to a line and select distribute horizontally and now this makes sure everything is lined up perfectly and then I'm going to go into my text button and I'm gonna type in my son's name Joshua and I'm gonna slide this in the middle here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and then I'm just gonna move this around kind of however size I want it okay so I like that there and then I have my font set to Arial I'm just gonna leave it at that but you can choose uh, whatever font that you want and there's just so many fun fonts to choose from and if you go to defont.com there's so many options on there as well but I'm just gonna leave it with the Arial font for now and then I'm gonna make this red as well since I want this all printed together with the same color and then I'm going to select everything again and then I'm going to hit align distribute horizontally again and center horizontally there we go and then it makes it all lined up okay so now I'm gonna select everything and if I hit group I can move it up and down and it'll still keep everything lined up but I can resize it with how I want for my project so if I like that there then the next thing I'm going to do is if I try to put this onto my mat now and if I click make it then everything will not be grouped together and it'll print like this so we want it all to look like it does back on the design space so I am going to click cancel and then I'm going to select everything here you can see over here everything's highlighted and for me the easiest ways to select it all is to highlight everything and make a box but you can also go in individually and hit shift and do that as well that way and then I am going to click weld and then that will make this all one image and as you can see over here there's only one layer now so then when I go to make it 
it will show up all as one image. So then whenever you print this off on or cut it off on the vinyl or cardstock, it'll be all together. So it'll be easier for you to make it um, with whatever project you're doing. Okay, and that's how you make it. I think you can do so many fun things with this. If your son or daughter play baseball or softball, um, you can make really fun decals with this. And I just feel like there's just endless possibilities. So I think it turned out really cute. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. It is completely free, and you can see all of my videos that I do. And I hope you have a good day.